Okay, I will talk about my current research that is called anthro anthroprosthetic. And it's about disability as human condition. Uh, well, disability as anthroprosthetic allows us to reflect upon a humanity that has to be learned rather than being granted at birth. Man is born without knowing how to speak, write, eat, or walk, unless being taught. He is incapable of surviving without the civilizing cares of culture. Hence, technique is presented as the mastery of the relationship between nature and humanity. If a man is tossed by nature without survival abilities, then technique allows him to produce himself. What we can think about is how many artifacts, artifacts are used throughout life that help with movement and that are metaphors for a wheelchair, such as a stroller or a walker. If language, institutions, or culture have been man's crutches for what is human in him, then we could consider that prosthesis have been historically acquired, so that extending or replacing the body with other prosthesis becomes a continuation of a process that began before we were born. Prostheses are technical devices, but they also precede that. Prostheses are linguistic. If we take our distance from the medical sense of a prosthesis, that is to say, that, that is to say the addition of replacement of a missing body part for an artificial one, a prosthesis would be not a simple extension of the human body, but the human condition itself, its constitution. Therefore, there is no human nature. Facing nature, the human is entirely prosthetic. If human beings are disabled beings, who has the capacity to represent normality? It would, it would seem easy and not so risky to question disability from the comfort of a body with no motor limitations and potentials or congenital anomalies. Yet disability is not limited to the phenomena occurring in the body Disability is political. Woman, in this sense, we have not been exempt from being historically disabled. Social class is involved in the political dimension of prosthetics and orthotics in Mexico. And it is necessary to consider that in the most violent and precarious areas, the risk of not only a losing part, but the life itself rises exponentially. People with disabilities derived from, a, from an amputation or the lack of a limb can hardly conceive receiving a replacement for a high technology or sophisticated device. In Mexico, prosthetics and orthotics are precarious, and it is also important that disability cases are proportional to the marginalization index. Thus, it's more than symbolic to try to, cheat, to, try to teach a human how to walk in a country where the population is constantly fall on, falling into pieces. Orthosis and prosthesis are not vestiges of the foreign disease, but political project, projections of the body. They are processes, actions, or states, states of the existence. They not only suggest, based on the conditions of physical decadence of the human, when can a body be considered useless or irreparable? But, but with the fragility at the stake, the identity that, and processes that give a body order are disrupted, and the capacity of objects or technical devices for political action is debated. Um, uh, furthermore, when prosthetics, ah, okay. Well, it's okay. Furthermore, when prosthetics are not only physical, when the materiality connected to the use purpose is not surpassed, prosthetics or orthotics may fall into a reductionism and merely become cultural tools of normalization with a compulsive spotlight on corporal norms. And rather than threatening the sphere of normality, they reaffirm it. First, physiognomically, they have to perform perform how a normal looking body should. Secondly, the purpose is determined by its usefulness and productivity for economic systems. 
In the match on, on, on the left is a Thompson prosthesis used, used in a femoral head replacement, and there is also a femoral spaces. That is the internal prosthesis that has the colors. The colors are generated depending of the, on the amount of time that the titanium is immersed in boric acid, water, and an electric charge. This process is called anodizing, and what it does is to create a layer of surface that prevents oxidation of the material in addition to make it, to make it biocompatible. This is a, this design is Mexican and was developed by Dr. Genaro Rico Martinez, head of the bone tumor department of the National Rehabilitation Institute in Mexico. In the, in the image of the right, we have so, surgical needles for bone fractures. If the shape of the human being is determined by the logic of its functionality and productivity in relation to the work, and if the work was the only essential action of the human being, what happens with the disabilities that escape efficiency and effectiveness in production? Perhaps the act of a man producing himself is a form of exercise. Perhaps there are ways of doing and producing his own existence beyond the work that is defined by the, a salary. And it, uh, and it is more about deciphering himself in every in every everyday life. Disability is given based on the expectation imposed on the functionality of the people, what is expected of them to do or not to do, in spite of advoc uh, advocating from a perspective of, of a subjective, of subjective independence. This is an autonomy subjected to an utilitarian view of the body. Is the tension between measuring and assigning the body types that are necessary to constitute and materialize the idea of citizens of a society. If the life unfolds within the medical bipolarity of the normal and the pathological, then the category of normal would be the faculty to decide the instrumental administration of the body. Mm, rehabilitation culture has a patriotic fervor. The disability that promotes a, a feeling of nature, which is exploited by private institutions, such as the case of the Teleton in Mexico, it can be observed that such campaign promotes the stereotypes of people with disability as a subject of charity. The United, the United Nations Convention of the, of the Rights of People with Disability suggests developing awareness programs on, on the people with disabilities as people with rights. No, to break the persistent medical charity and assistentialist model. Every time we talk about human rights, it becomes evident that the humanism is not universal, but may, but may be quite relative to a certain situation, as that the freedom or the human rights have to be limited at certain frontiers. That is to say, what is an issue here is not a matter of the biological traits of the human species, but of the political disability of the preca precarious lives, of the human forms that lack an acknowledgement in the dominant political debates and whose biological existence is limited to areas of, 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 of exemption. If persons with disabilities are perceived in the social imaginary, imaginary as cripples that produce pity, then that is because being human is not considered to be a constant training that must be exercised. A being that struggles with itself to go beyond its shape should not cause any pity. The tendency to pathologize the body based on the journey of, for normality is a deliberate exclusion of the other possibilities of the human experience. Correcting is not merely correcting nature, but suppress, suppressing difference. If existence has always required orthopedics and prosthetics, how do we, how do we embody and think the non-normative, how we can avoid being under public scrutiny, having to do normal things through hard exercise. How can we zigzag the paradox of a normality for the non-normal? And well, I put you a video 
that is uh, quoted of the, the the general video of the only some bodies are allowed down here. We shape, re-educate, rehabilitate. Is there only one acceptable way of being present? One way of being human, straight and vertical. Okay, uh, this is what part of the, the video of the Bayenia in Riga, Riboka. And yeah, to finish this part, disability has a disruptive potential that can broaden the horizons of the human condition sense and significance. If human beings is a protest prosthetic being, then that is because they are artifacts of themselves, because they have the ability to technically intervene in their own nature by producing prosthetics that allows them to enunciate and constitute themselves transversally between corporeal limits to create conditions of possibility that are an opening to think about themselves more as living rather than as a humans. Rather, rather than as humans. Um, okay, continuing in the same line of reflection, the human verticality is at the, is, is at the threshold of the of equilibrium. Any false steps and the human condition falls down. To what degree can equilibrium be reached where the anatomy of a body can be maintained? Alignment on the vertical is a challenge. These are polyurethane molds mild in Rodin 4D which is a kind of robotic arm that sculpts the torso from the patient's previous scan. The sculptures are held to the wall by anthropometric calibrators, which, which are used in patient evaluations and to confirm that the measurements transferred from the patient to the molds are correct. The polyurethane molds exhibited were initially made as a positive for a custom-made medical corset. Used, used to correct the lateral curve or spinal deformity in scoliosis. Habitual or hexical forms come from the Latin habitus or habit and from the Greek hexis, manner of being, state or body habit from possession. It is an aspect that represents an embodied mechanism. These are alternate pressure matrices used when people spend many hours in bed and their function is to prevent pressure ulcers, sores, or other wounds. Through electric pumps, they produce a constant airflow that is equivalent to turning the patient who is in bed. Each mattress has three different types of corsets. In the center, Taylor Cash and Jewett. The first two are to pro provide stability and treat pain in the spine, low back pain. And the last one is to prevent a spinal flexion when there are the there are fractured vertebrae. The, matter, the matrices are inflated by means of electric pumps, and when they are filled with air, they rise as, as if they aspire to the verticality. And when deflated, they lose their posture. And this is the video. I cannot repeat it. <laughs> Okay, the term ascesis means in classical Greek exercise or training and was fundamental for the formation of the styles of being of the cultures, cultures of the life that is exercised. It rises 
the ways of exercising the life of the healthy and the sick. And with it, all the self-referential ways of exercising and working on one's own way of living. In this sculpture, the interest was to contrast two types of deformations in the legs and the feet. The first is by choice and it is considered aesthetic as is in the case of the palette. And the second, the genetic and involuntary deformation that is considered a pathology. In both cases, being upright is a challenge since both in ballet and in children who, who use this type of orthosis, adapting to the deformation is an exercise. Well, these uh, ballet dancers were shown in this space. Uh, CSO, that is Cuerpo Sin Organos, stands for Body Without Organs, which is a concept taken from the book A Thousand Plateaus by Gilles Deleuze and Felix Watari. The body without organs denies the supposed nature and purpose of the organs and their functions in the body. It is a critique of the 19th century biological dispute between functionalism and morphology. That is of the assumption that organs are articulated as a unit or a system defined according to specific functions or purposes. The body without organs, it is an experience of the powers of the body. Outside, outside of the scientific thinking where casual relationships, relationships between organs and functions are established. The body without organ is a strategy to inhabit the body without these hierarchies or presupposed subordinations. What appear to be heads are molds of, of stones of legs and arms and are used in the manufactured prosthesis and the plastic bags are plaster protectors. Allotropy is the characteristic, characteristic of certain elements that, that can appear in more than one form. The body without organs is not opposed to the organs, but to the organization of organs with which we, which we call organism. The organism is not, a, is not a body, but it's a stratum in the body without organs. And the stratums are ties or blockages. The organism as a stratum, it imposes forms, functions, dominant and hierarchical organizations in order to extract useful work from it. These sculptures are also polyurethane molds of stumps of legs and arms. In a process of body without organs or disorganization of the body, what we have is an unfolding of intensities that occur each one as a axeidades. The axeidad has neither beginning nor end, neither origin or destination. It is always in the middle. It's not made of points, it's only made of lines. It's a rhizome. Every, everybody we, everybody without organs is made of plateaus and the lesson what are called plateau any multiplicity connectable with other multiplicities by superficial and subterranean stems to form and extend and horizon. Uh, the body without organs is to open the body to connections that imply agency, circuits, conjunctions of flows, thresholds or distribu distributions of intensi intensities or possible lines of escape. Well, okay, this is the video of the splints, inflatable splints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what you saw in the video, are inflatable splints that are used in Mexico for emergency cases and that are placed by paramedics in the case of fracture and while the patient is being transported to the hospital. In the case of this installation, electric pumps were used instead of the splints being manually inflated. Okay, verticality is an acrobatic exercise that changes all the steps into first steps because when walking, any step could be the last one. Standing upright requires dexterity. It's an acrobatics. It's, it comes from acro, which designates high or the highest, and by name, to go to walk. 
Whenever it is a question of doing the difficult as an easy exercise, acrobatics comes into play. And the acrobatic dimension of the existence is the vertical tensions imposed. imposed. Thus, the first steps are a challenge and acrobatic skills. The sculptures are made from different orthopedic and medical devices. And that's all my presentation. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so you were also showing the, sh the images of the show I saw in Cologne and I write about it, this last yeah. one. Yeah, there, this were this, this, and with this moving, this were this one, this, and this one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's lead. yeah. Yeah, but they move in the show, they were moving very, very slowly. That <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, in the videos more fast to see yeah, completely yeah. because if not, it could be, it could take like a one hour or two or something. Yeah. Because they were moving very slowly and so fast you didn't see it, you didn't see this movement. And then you realize slowly that they are changing, moving. And so it was a little sh spooky. <laughs> yeah. 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 So thank you so much for, for this lecture. Uh, you were talking, you are talking about a very, very complicated, I think, and very difficult issues and uh, issue what is, not uh, dealt in in the art uh, so often, I think. So I was wondering, uh, how did you get this idea to deal with these issues? Is there is a special experience? Is this is coming from all your experience, or how did you get this idea? Well, everything started with her. Uh, it's Olga. Olga, yeah, everything started with Olga. It was a long time ago, like maybe now, 10, ten years ago. I was follow. I from Oaxaca City, no, that is other state in Mexico, and I, next to my neighborhood is another uh, neighborhood, and I was following a contaminated ri river because in that moment I was planning like a, to make a performance taking a shower in the contaminated river or something like that <laughs> and when I was following the river I saw Olga like a hanging in, in a door that in, in that house the owners uh, selling a, a different second hand things and I saw her hanging and I uh, stopped it and I asked to the, to the owner like, uh, what is that? Because I never saw something like Olga. And he told me that she was an orthosis for, the, for a teenager that has polio, poliomyelitis. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know uh, in that moment what it was, this disease. And uh, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I went to my mom to ask money for buying Olga. <laughs> <laughs> I come back to pick her. And when I have it, I, I immediately think about like, okay, she needs to walk and how I can make it to walk. And in that moment, I was also living because I was studying at the university in Puebla. And I took, a, I took my first like a robotic and electronic workshops in another school different that I was studying. And I started to, to like to, to have an idea with kind of um, like a knowledge I need to, to, to make her to work. And with that professor, I started to work uh, with Olga, but it happened uh, a lot of like uh, really hard situations between Olga and me because the first, uh, like uh, the first time when I showed, showed her, she doesn't work in the opening and I was really, crazy and crying and everything and I just stopped to work with her like a two years and another uh, teacher invited me for another show and like a, okay I recovered my relationship with Olga and also work with another engineer and also doesn't work in the opening I was totally like a, a crazy last day and uh, again, I stopped to work with her like uh, two years also later, and two years also later, finally, I, I worked with another engineer <laughs> that actually was my first um, uh, teacher in the in robotics workshop. 
And finally, she worked in the in the opening and worked <laughs> forever. <laughs> it was really a hard and, and patient relation with Olga. And yeah, when um, I have the uh, the chance to make a, a my first no like a third uh, first show with Jan Caps, uh, the proposal was to make a show around her. And in that moment, I just started like a, okay, but I need to to make this in the deepest way, you know? I started to read, to try to, to write, and to try to be in the, like, at the total um, commitment, you know, with the topic and the, yeah. And, yeah. So this was your own experience that brought you to this issue, this, this, this own experience. Uh, yeah. And do you have still contact with Olga? Are you still? No, Olga is now in Germany. But for example, when my, my grandfather dies, uh, he was, I remember that the first relationship with the, the, with the topic was with my grandfather dies because he was like a one week in a wheelchair. And I, 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 I felt that uh, his gift for me was the wheelchair and I have something to like uh, to discover with the wheelchair and I was in the, the university in that moment and I just started um, to make a performance for a week that was the duration of my grandfather of the in the in the wheelchair and I started to make all my activities in the wheelchair for example I went to a conference at the uh, Amparo Museum and I, I went to my classes in wheelchair and tried to, tried to take a bus and try to get a job in a corner with another uh, person that, it, uh, that he was in wheelchair. And yeah, in that moment, I had an, a group show in uh, Casa del Caballero Aguila that was uh, like a kind of gallery of the, of the university. And I make a performance with uh, like a, uh, like a tierra, like a land, mix it with water and put like a, the, uh, yeah, the register or the archive of the wheels on the wall, you know, with this wheelchair. And it was the first, first experience. And after that, it, it happened this with Olga. And yeah. You would also strike me, so you were thinking about this, a possibility to uh, to help the body to disabled body with all this what we just now have we have all these technical uh, means what we can uh, what we can do but you don't use this advanced technical means what you are mostly using are this old fashion somehow protest what and this has something I would say something nostalgic is this uh, are you doing this consciously or does it this have any reason that you are using this old kind of old-fashioned uh, protest protheses yeah i i think it's because it's the is the devices that i am surrounded and also i i always saw this kind of orthosis because for example i was uh, talking with a friend in Germany and he has um, a stump of the leg and he, but his prosthesis is really high technology. He can connect the, the, the prosthesis to the cell phone and to put like a, a mode, run model mode or like a, a resting mode you know? and, and he has all the possibilities to put these modes in, the, in, in his prosthesis. But for example, in Mexico, it's not common, no? It's, 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 it's uh, almost impossible to think in high technology, like uh, all are like a low technology. For example, when I was working at the rehabilitation center for child, I never saw some child using like a high technology or prosthesis or orthosis. Even like an electric wheelchair is not used or uh, is not common to see in the streets here or in the rehabilitation center. It's like, a, well, at least I never saw some <laughs> one here in Mexico. And I think it's because I am surrounded with this material or this orthosis, this kind of orthosis that I use it 
and because also, for example, to get to get this kind of orthosis, I I yeah I go to uh, different uh, like a flea mar markets or second hand markets, and all is this kind of of, of orthosis, you know, and yeah, it's the same. For example, I work with three different uh, orthopedic workshops and orthopedic stores and two are like a low technology it just is one that have high that have this robotic arm and it has the this like a high technology you not know, to produce the molds or the prosthesis but it's uh, more common to have like a low technology orthosis or prosthesis yeah then i i mean but because you are using this uh low technologies let's say prothesis somehow you are talking in the same time that this is uh, this uh, medical uh, problems are also social problems because uh, uh, you were we were talking about it when i met you in cologne uh, that in the country like uh, mexico uh, asia uh, that the people they don't have the possibility to use this high technology like we use it in in Europe, for instance, or in the US. Yeah. So so we are you are also talking about the social problems and disability and and disease like a social problem also in this means. Yeah. Yes, 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 for sure. Because for example, it, this is the reason that I think that disability is, 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 is close or is in relation with mar marginalization or poor areas. Because, for example, it's also important to consider that, for example, to access to healthy, to food, like, uh, for example, if, one, if a woman is pregnant, she needs to, make, to take care to go to, the, uh, to make the, uh, to make the check, check in at the at the doctor and is in, in these zones is not a possibility, no? And it could be, yeah, it's, it's like, I guess, it's, it's in this sense that is the relationship with the violent areas also in the country, because is this the point you can uh, always are, uh, you are exposed to lose not only a, a body part, if the, uh, but the life itself, like, uh, yeah, it's all the time. And yeah, he's talking also about what is the, there is not a lot of uh, private uh, um, healthy insurance that is common to use of the population, no? And it's also to talking about yeah, who have the uh, the access, no, to this possibility of healthy or or yeah or or or, or healthy uh, situation. Can I have a question? Yes. I think uh, what I see in your works is this is some, uh, some kind of a symbolics of, of, of uh, there is an absence of the human body. And um, so, so these figures, they kind of try to stand up and they cannot. And uh, at the same time, it's somehow cheerful with the colors and everything. How, how does it work for you, this kind of cheerful part and this the gay kind of cheerful part and this kind of very tragic, almost absent, uh, the contrast of the well, two. Like, uh, firstly, I consider like a walking upright as a technology, because it, it was like, a, I thought, it lo logos of the technique is know-how, no? It's a practical knowledge to discipline the body. But this is a question when I, we thought about what is a human condition, and if a human condition depends of what, walking upright. But what, what happens if you don't walk in upright? You are not a human or what is the situation in between? And this is why this uh, mechatronical sculpture don't get to the upright position because just try and try, like uh, to try to understand the, 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 the uh, human condition, but not to get to, no? And in the case of the colors of the sculptures is because when you are tired or in between with teenager or something, is more like a, a, a comodidad. It, yeah, it's, it's like a, to, to, to be more comfortable with the orthosis because this is to, if it's totally white or totally, I don't know, uh, like a neutral color, it's not too attractive to use it 
and for the child it's more easy and yeah, I, I think also funny in some way to use the autosis with these colors. Okay, is there um, some question in the audience or do, we don't have any, sometimes we had some chats, charts, but we don't have any just now or Adam, do you have some? Uh, no, 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 not really. No. Um. Yeah. So there is there is like uh, I have another question actually. There is this this kind of uh, everything is somehow happening in this kind of uh, horizontal way. No, this is not not about the verticality kind of sublimation, but everything is somehow crawling. It's a kind of fatal. There's a kind of fatal situation of these of these absent bodies of this mecha mechatrons of these mechanisms, right? Well, I think it's a condition, like uh, it's not, I don't see it like a fatal, but mm -hmm. it's part of the life, no? Like, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's also like uh, to have the time in passing, no? And yeah, I don't see like uh, a, in, the, in the way that it's fatal, but it's, uh, yeah, variations of the states, uh, the different states you cross in the existence, no? Like sometimes you fall down, sometimes you try to stand up, or it's almost all the time like a fighting in between, like a for make the life, make a project, or just living. Okay. But yes, it's also to think about, for example, the top, the technology. It's not like a, the yeah like, like a, the total idea to get the progress, no? Like a, the to, the technology also don't save us uh, in the in the like uh, for the ideal way no mm -hmm. it's, it's only the like uh, the device to allow us to produce ourselves no uh, mm -hmm. uh, throw, throughout the, uh, the, te the technology but it's to think yeah the possibilities that is not always it needs to be like uh, the highest way or like uh, improve also the the life no it's mm -hmm. like uh, to make uh, to have a different horizons of possibilities to be or to live. Okay. Last time when we met in Cologne, you told me that you are working uh, with these children. Are you still working with these children? No, I, I was working before the, the pandemic. Um, and now, yeah, the center start to work again. But now I would like to start to work in the rehabilit National Rehabilitation Center, like uh, to have more uh, 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 big <laughs> horizon, or like I uh, yeah, check uh, different institutions also, not to see how they consider the rehabilitation, because this is another topic, you know? If the rehabilitation is made to go back to the normality or what kind of normality, if it's, it's, it's just to make you produ productive or useful usefulness for the society, no? In that way, and it could be yeah, like interesting to change the institution to work. And I think soon I will ask for a job <laughs> there. And how is it that you show uh, your work, uh, this feature and this object? to your colleagues or to these children and how do they deal with it? If this would be also, this is, it would be, uh, I would be interested in it, uh, if they can deal with it. Yeah, for example, when I wanted to work at the, at the Teleton, at the Rehabilitation Center for Child, and uh, that has neuro muscle skeletal, skeletal uh, disability. I just arrived to the to the center and I asked, okay, I want to work as a social service or volunteer or something. And the first uh, girl or woman that checked me, I show her Olga, uh, the, the video of Olga. Like I am making this research, it's my, it's my current research, and I want to work here because it's, my, it's part of my <laughs> current research. And she told me, okay, no, this is really, really good. I, you need to, to, to do something more that make copies or like a deliver messages or something. And I went for with another like um, 
yeah, another hierarchical uh, woman in the center. And I show her also the video of Olga with the movement. And she told me like, uh, okay, if you want, you, you, you can uh, be part of the workshop of art, art workshop. And I just started to work not as a teacher, but as assistant of a teacher in the workshop. And I just started because I don't have like a, this knowledge that to, to have how to trade uh, the child, for example, when they lose the position or when they have, have problems in the hands and like a, how I can do that. And I start, started my training, uh, uh, was an assistant of this teacher. And after that, uh, he stopped to work and I, I started to, to 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 I was a teacher for the students and for the student properly I didn't show Olga because I was like a trying to understand for their uh, their singularity and each point like uh, individually you know, to understand what is the situation with the body and to try to also to communi communicate in in other sense you no know, because uh, most of most of them can talk, no, or or have like a like a this um, yeah kind of like a structure movement, and it was like a challenge, you know, how I can uh, uh, communicate with him or with her, and try to understand the situation, no, also the relationship between them and everything, and yeah, it was more like a, the point of my interest in the yeah when I was with these child in the center. So this means that this art somehow because became part of your whole life, that you are working uh, like uh, this, these people and you are producing this art. So it somehow was your life and also your life is a part of your art and your art is a part of your life somehow. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think that I am what I produce, you no, know? uh, yeah, in general, I said that, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's a reflection. <laughs> <laughs> so, Adam, do you have a question? No, I think I, I got it all. It's very interesting. It's really, uh, it's like touching, this, yeah? <laughs> yes, I like this very, very deep and, and uh, somehow, yeah, a controversial subject, and, and it's rooted in the, in the very kind of uh, tough reality, actually, of, of the mm. of the differences between our societies and, uh, and, the, and the human condition. I'm really great fan of yours, and I wish you great luck. And I hope. So, what are the upcoming shows now for you? Uh, the immediately show it will be a Crevecaire gallery in Paris, and that it will be eighty. Oh, great! Wonderful. Yes. Uh -huh. It will be 18 of June. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, it could be uh, MMK in Frankfurt, mm -hmm. and after that, Boros mm -hmm. Collection. Mm -hmm. Or it could be uh, to the other side, first Boros, and after MMK. I, I'm not sure. And uh, the last one in Europe, it will be in Copenhagen and mm -hmm. at Simeon in November. And this is the last <laughs> of <Okay>. the year. <laughs> So then you are really busy in the <laughs> next yeah. months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's great, really, it's great, yeah. 